Hello and welcome to my demonstration just on Sage 50 Bank Reconciliations, a very simple and quick function that makes life so easy in general day-to-day -day bank accounting. So what we have here in Sage 50 is a list of our banks and we've got our options going across the top. So what we want to do is we want to click on the reconcile of the bank that we're looking to. So in here, you'll see on the front screen, it's giving, allowing us to put a reference through, a balance from our statement. We can put on any bank charge at this stage, but I prefer to just click on the OK button and work all from this main screen. You can see these are all the items that are in Sage 50 currently. Um, and down below is the balance that you last reconciled to, and you have the functions going up at the top. So the idea here is that you don't need to exit the bank reconciliation to be able to do a bank payment or a customer refund or a supplier payment. But first of all, what we do is we start off and we put in the balance from our bank statement. So my bank statement is minus 17328.48. So I have a difference here of, down here, of 5,000 plus euros. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the items that are appearing on my bank statement. So these, these three, and I'm going to match those. And they're the only items that are on my bank statement, but I still am left with a difference of 10 euros. When I look at my physical bank statement, I can see that I had a bank charge for 10 euros. So what I can do is, hmm, I've just been interrupted, so I must come out of the bank reconciliation, click on save progress, do the other job that I need to do and pop back in again. And what it's asking me here is, do I want to pick up what I've already uh, started or discard it? So, of course, I want to pick it up. So remember, I've still got my 10 euros difference. So I'm going to pop into the bank payment. I'm going to enter in the date and the reference, whatever I want to put in. I put in the nominal code that I'm posting it to, any details here, 10, and there's no VAT charged on that. So once I click on save, because I'm entering it within the bank reconciliation, it's assuming I want to match it. So it's popped straight down here and super, it's after clearing my difference. So again, I can click on any one of these here and you can see I didn't have to exit, but it it puts it directly onto Sage 50. Once I'm happy, I can click on the reconcile button and that will pop away. Now I'm just going to pop back into reconcile for a moment and I'm going to click on OK and just want to show you here that in the view history, I can see previous bank reconciliation. So these are particularly useful if you're submitting them to your accountant on anything that you've done through the year. So you can see here the items that I have reconciled and the bank balance that I've come to. So again, it's just an extra piece of information for you. Just going to close out of there for a moment. And that is our bank reconciliation. Thank you.